When I was growing up, my dad owned a construction company. I would work for him during breaks from the school. And while sometimes I got to see the blueprints of how the building was going to look when it got done, I still had a hard time envisioning it. Today, I'm standing in front of the stage for our church's sanctuary. As you can tell, it isn't quite finished. And while I've seen the plans for the completion, I still am having a hard time envisioning exactly how it's going to look. And as a youth pastor, there were some suggestions that I had for the stage design that I thought would be pretty sweet. A fog machine, some cool lights, a rotating drum platform that raised up, you know, but I'm afraid we're not going to get any of those features. You know, sometimes what we think should happen or, or how we think something should be uh, made isn't always the best way to do it. I, I was talking to a friend of mine last week and he said that his stepmom, uh, who isn't a believer, was asking why God didn't just make the world all good and, and fix every problem. Now let's be honest, even as Christians, sometimes we ask the exact same question. I was reminded of these verses in Isaiah. Isaiah 55, eight through nine says this, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. So often we think we, we know what is best, or, or we think we know how God should do something. Or maybe we're in the middle of the construction, we can't see what the final outcome is gonna be. We think things should be different because it doesn't look right at the moment. I came across this quote from Dallas Willard. He's an American philosopher the other day online, and it sums up pretty much where we're at. He says this, when people vilify God for failing to make a holy good world inhabited by holy good people, I fear that they are not always concerned with moral goodness. Many times they only mean that God should have made a world in which they would always get what they want, and one that would be inhabited by people of the sort that they like. We humans never get what we want, and uh, we want it so badly. We want it badly enough to conclude without hesitation that God should have designed this world with our specific needs in mind. You see, if we are not careful, we will allow our pride and our own selfish desires to supersede the one who created us all. And as we are so painfully made aware of in the passage from Isaiah, our ways and our thoughts are far lower than God's. He knows a lot better than we do about how things should go. Listen, we've advanced by leaps and bounds as a society and humans over the past few centuries. However, may we not think of ourselves as so smart that we put ourselves above God.